This video is going to explain uh, how to create basic shapes. So the first thing would be is that you want to um, go ahead and get a compass and these compasses work by the center axis is this dot right here and then you use where it says radius on these dot here to spin it around. So a radius of one will get you of course one times two equals diameter which or which is two. So uh, that's how I get my circle drawn out. You want to not do what I did, which you'll notice is that I went away from the edge. That was super wasteful. And remember, in this class, there's not any more supplies. So it's really important that I would have cut that from the edge. So help check each other. Uh, if you, you see someone drawing in the wrong spot, that they should use the edge. Because otherwise, that's probably your material they just wasted that now you won't be able to have. Once you get one, you can trace it. So notice I'm getting it right close to the edges. So I'm trying to be as uh, resourceful as possible. Then a big mistake that students make when they cut is they start turning their hand rather than turning the paper. So you want to make sure that as you cut, it's your paper that you spin, not the scissors. Okay, the shapes that we need to make for a basic shape are the ball, which is, or the sphere, which is pretty simple. You're gonna need two of these circles. And then one of them, you're gonna actually wanna fold that circle in half. And then you're gonna wanna cut along that line so that you're left with two pieces. Then you're gonna take your hot glue gun which is not gonna be where your scissors are. So you would spin over to the hot glue. So watch out, I'm gonna make you dizzy. Oops, I wanted you. There we go. So spin over to the hot glue. And here, on top of the mats, I draw a line. Keep in mind, the more hot glue I use, the longer I have to wait for it to dry. I want my line to be right in the center. Squish my pieces in, and then I wanna wiggle them around a lot so that they're getting in there. I'm wanting to hold them so that the flaps are up. And then I just kinda have to hang out and wait so that this edge right here, if I cover that in paper mache, it has, let's see if I, can figure out there it has the outline of a circle going this way and all it needs is if I were to draw it or make it bigger thin strips that were hot glued like this and then this is called an armature that would hold those thin strips in place and so that's how I would get my ball shape. I, of course, would have to do some here. And the bigger I was making, the more of these little wings I would need. The next thing that you are gonna make after you make the ball piece, which again, sorry, flip you around, um, is you're gonna make a cone. To make a cone, you're gonna need a circle that is twice as big as your original. So if you made a two inch circle here by being at the one, uh, inch mark for the radius. You're going to spin out again. The center piece pulls down and then another pencil goes in here and then that spins around until you get uh, a four inch circle. Then you are going to cut into the center of your four inch circle and then that will allow you to push those so I'm taking this and I'm pushing those edges together and I'm gonna pull them until this piece would want to fit in the center. Which if you do your math correctly and you've done all your work correctly, it means these two edges, so this flap here and this flap here are gonna almost line up to make that be, see that? That's, that's my trick to show that my craftsmanship was great. Um, for this particular spot, I wouldn't want a hot glue because I'll have a big old goober there. So 
I'm going to tape my edge. And then let's pivot our ground again to the hot glue. Sorry, make you dizzy. Here, when I hot glue, I'm going to want to put little dabs of hot glue to kind of hold it in place. I'm conscientious of my fingers. And then my goal is to actually kind of push that in to that space. And it's going to want to pop out on you. So you just have to play with it. And then once you get it so it sits in there, then you can go around and hot glue this edge. You'll notice I'm running my hot glue gun around that edge because I don't want a big crease. I want it to be nice and clean and level. Now I wouldn't have to hot glue this. Oh, now I got it on the inside. And it's okay that ever so slightly my circle is indented. That's completely fine. I'm extremely conscientious of my fingers. If you burn yourself, you need to go over to the sink. You need to turn on the cold water and you need to sit by the cold water and wait. If you've just touched the hot glue, you're probably fine with some cold water. You might need to go to the nurse for an ice cube. If you touch that tip, you definitely have to go to the nurse. Uh, you don't want to put burn cream on it at first. You want to get all the heat out by using ice. Once the heat is gone and your skin doesn't feel hot anymore, then that burn cream will be helpful. Okay, so you have to hold it like this until it stays, and once it stays, you then have built a cone, which is quite helpful to make all sorts of different things. Let's see, I could turn that into, um, if you kind of envision this complete, now I've got the top of a, like an ice cream cone. Yep, okay, next is how to do shapes like a cube. So I would go to my rotary cutter or my paper cutter and I would cut out three two inch by two inch pieces. Then again, this is where tape could be my friend. It's really focused on lining up my corners. Now, if you're a super careful cutter, you could actually make this as one big piece. But if you're not, you want to start with your two inch squares. And what we're looking for is that craftsmanship there. Those seams perfectly line up. This seam perfectly lines up. And you want to take the time to really try and get that right. Once those, so some people are super crafty. They can cut this shape out without needing those extra cuts. But for most of us, we need those extra cuts. These two pieces come up. This corner should be nice and clean. And then this seals right along here. Now this is not enough to stay strong. That tape doesn't keep this strong. So I'd still want to watch yourself, I'm spinning. Come back over to my hot glue gun. Again, I am pushing in the creases, a little bit of hot glue, a whole lot of pushing it into the seam. What I am looking for so right into that seam is I should even see a little teeny bit of hot glue come out from this side. I'm keeping in mind that everything should be nice and clean and tight. I'm watching the vet like this is hot as I'm holding it and I'm not even touching the glue. So I'm just very conscientious of my work. If something's kind of off, I'm fixing it. All right, those are the basic shapes that you will need to experiment building.